Right, so this video is an overview. I wouldn't really say it's a review because I haven't probably used it yet, but an overview of this Pest Shield Metal Rat Trap. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I want to do this video, and I'll give you some reasons of why I like this or dislike it. So, Obviously a lot of people use rat traps in survival kits because they're small, light, cheap, you know, but you can get all sorts of animals, you know, small animals with them. Uh, and normally I would get the wooden ones and modify them because there's a lot of different modifications you can do to a wooden one, including reducing the size, um, putting different bits, putting chin bars, um, raising up the spring, all sorts of things you can do to them. But what I kept thinking about the metal ones is I kept thinking, well, what could you do? If they're not good enough, there is no real modification you can do to them being metal. Uh, on the wooden ones, you could even cut some of the wood away and make it smaller. But this you couldn't because you would lose the sides. So... I got one to have a closer good look at to see what you could do or what would be needed to be done. So this is the trap. So on a normal wooden rat trap what a lot of people do is you drill a hole to tie a cord to. Well you're not going to need to do that to this. You've either got a hole there or you could just tie it anywhere around here. The other thing they do on wooden rat traps is a lot of people put spikes or chin bars going around the side. Well this trap has already got the chin bars going round and they're spiky. Another thing I like to do is put a safety catch on them or make a safety device. Well this trap has actually got a safety device on it. I was actually I was really impressed by that. Put a safety device on it. You can't reduce the size, but that's not too bad. And the other thing people like to do is put a block of wood under the spring. Well, how this is set up, you actually can put a block of wood underneath the spring. You could either wedge it in there or glue it, but you could actually get this up and put a block underneath there. So I'm quite impressed by that, that all the modifications you would have to do to a wooden one, except for reduce the size, this has already accounted for nearly all of them. It's got a nice big treadle plate, spiky chin bars, safety, and an option to tie it off. It was about £2.50. Um, <clears throat> I can't vouch for the power of it right at the minute, because I haven't done any tests. It doesn't feel all that powerful, I'll be honest. But we could pull this up and get the spring up higher to put your safety on you put that there you pull the bar over and then this if you can see it you raise that up to there and then it's safe I thought that's such a brilliant thing to put on there <clears throat> and then you set it like you would your normal ones one thing I wasn't too keen on was how high the treadle plate sits and that is about as low as you can get you might get it a little bit lower <coughs> but that's about it but that should be right still um the animal still got to stand on it to get the um the plate uh i was going to try and set it off for you but i don't know if i've got anything i could put in there without damaging it because you don't want to keep putting sticks and hard things in these otherwise you'll damage them but i'll tell you what we'll do later on we'll do a test video and see kind of how powerful it is <coughs> but yeah I was quite impressed by that all the things you would need to do to a wooden rat trap is already done um, I suppose it is reflected in the price though so for example this was £2.50 um, a wooden rat trap can be about pound fifty. depends what one you get well, actually, I've seen some for three quid, so you can get some which are more expensive, but they do look like they've got very good springs on them. And to be honest, you could 
change for springs. If you can get them, you could take a spring from a more powerful rat trap and possibly put it on here. Or a double one, like the Victor's. There's a possibility you can actually do that. And I think it would all, every part would hold because it's metal. Funny thing is I kept looking at this part. And when you look at the treadle plate, that is just cut out of there. And then make it to the treadle plate there. Which I thought that was a good idea, you know. Lightens it up as well. But, yeah, I think for a survival kit that is actually a good option. Because it's got nearly everything, all the mods you would have to do to a wooden one. It's already got all of them there. So I'll do a video later on of um, possibly testing the power compared to other traps, whatever. Uh, maybe do some sets with it, see what we could do. But I am very impressed by that little safety catch. It's a bloody good idea. You know, most of these rat traps never think of that. All right. Anyway, like I said, it's a quick review, not a review, but a. Um, overview of pest shield metal rat trap all right cheers for watching i'll see you later